What's up guys? Today I'm down at Torque Motorsports. We're going to install short ram intake for the Veloster and we're gonna do some shifter bushings. So all we got left on this is welding up the bracket which will fit right here so we can bolt it in, powder coat it, throw it in the car and shifter bushings. Might as well as do both of them at the same time since they're right next to each other. Don't worry about that. It's a top secret project. This is what we're going to be working on today. So, I'm going to replace factory airbox and then to get to the shifter, pull out the battery, airbox, and then down in there <coughs> is where these new bushings go. These top bushings in the kit are for at the transmission, and then the bottom bushings in the kit are for at the shifter. To take off the airbox, all you're going to need is take off that bolt right there, take off this clamp, undo the box, and you can pull out part of it, and then you're going to have a couple of bolts to get out the lower half, and all you're going to need is a pair of pliers and a 10 mil socket or wrench. Still 10 millimeters. You'll just need an extension so that you can get in there and get to them. So after you get those three bolts out, because I'm just using a GoPro but there's the connector pipe there so if you angle it up so that piece will clear kind of rotate a little bit and then she just pops right out so to remove the battery 10 mil for the battery terminals and 12 mil to take out the tie down. take out the tray so that you can access the shifter bushings. one there and the one back 
under the ECU. And then for the ECU bracket, it's a 10 millimeter bolt, 10 millimeter bolt, 10 millimeter nut. Once those are out, you can lift and pull it out. And then right back in there, you'll be able to access the last little bolt. It's right there. And I forgot to mention, you will need to take out this bolt here that holds in the positive terminal connector. That little piece, you can just pinch the sides with needle nose pliers and it'll pop right through. So with a pair of needle nose pliers, Pinch in the sides of it, and once you get the sides, you'll be able to pull the battery housing up and push that down. It's a lot easier with two hands, but boom. Brackets off. Now you can just move this off to the side so it's out of your way. Then, right here is the big bracket, or sorry, big bushing, little bushings right there. You just gotta take these little pins out on both of them. there there's the first one that's the second one and if you get the kit from torque it does come with two new pins that way you don't have to reuse these right there and then that one slides out to get the bushings out use a screwdriver get in under the lip and pry it up a little bit then you use a pair of needle nose pull it out the rest of the way <laughs> bushing is getting replaced with the solid bushing then once you get the bushing through this clip will go right through that little groove in there then go to push the clip on it makes it about 20 times easier so after you got the clip on there and the bushings in place you grab one of the clips and then pop it through and the first one is done.
Now it's the same process for the second one, but the second one doesn't have that big retainer clip. So all you got to do is pull that bushing out, pop the new one in, and then put the retainer clip through it. It's a tight fit getting that in there and then the back already has pretty much a stop on it so it won't fall through but once you get it lined up and started by hand you can use needle nose pliers or something to just kind of help you crush it into place and then after it pops on it's gonna be a little hard to get on but it will just pop right into place. Just push the clip through. And then the shifter bushings are done. Now you put the tray liner back in with the battery and the battery diaper if you want to run the battery diaper. factory air intake system 
we would just throw all of that back in the car same thing kind of angle it in so that it can reach in right there it doesn't have to be a drastic angle or it won't work you can even do it pretty much flat and then once you get down there give her a little bit of a twist pop it in and then one two three bolts throw your air filter back in and then put the tube back in through there tighten down the hose clamp pop back in put your two hoses back on and make sure you get the hose clamps on all the way but we're not going to do that we're going to put on the torque motorsports short ram air intake so i'm just waiting for that to finish up with powder coat and once that's put on there we can drive the car see how the shifter bushings feel um i have not done the inside the car yet those are gonna wait a little bit just till i have more time but once you do this it's really not hard pretty straightforward it takes probably half hour 45 minutes installed the intake and from that little startup it sounds amazing gonna go for a little test drive and see what it actually sounds like while we're driving hear 
turn the turbo more, which is awesome. It's not as loud as ever, but I talked to you said it would be. But boy, sounds good. 